time got suspended. It was very surreal. Everyone was going crazy. It was awesome. Pretty cool. If something dramatic happens like this, it resonates inside of us because we're part of this universe. Oh, that was mind-blowing. That was so cool. I almost, first eclipse, I almost didn't know where to look. I was watching the mountains disappear as the shadow came. I was watching the shadow bands on the ground. I watched the corona, the prominences, the planets you can see. It was, oh, that was the fastest two and a half minutes of my life. Something awesome is coming. Two eclipses of the sun are crossing the U.S., in October of 2023 and April of 2024. Everyone in North America will see at least part of the sun covered by the moon. The first eclipse is an annular or ring of fire eclipse. And the second one is an awesome total eclipse of the sun. Let's talk about the total eclipse. I'm astronomer Doug Duncan, and I have been chasing eclipses my whole career. And I'm astronomer Jimmy Negus, and I saw my first total solar eclipse in 2017. We are here to show you how to watch an eclipse safely. If you want to look at the sun, you must, must, must protect your eyes. These are not sunglasses. They're a thousand times darker, and they're made for looking at the sun. Tens of millions of people have used these to safely watch eclipses. And during an eclipse, it takes the moon a little over an hour to cover the entirety of the sun. Depending on where you live, you'll see more or less of the sun. The only time you can look at the sun without eclipse watching glasses is if you're in the path of totality during just the few minutes when the moon completely covers the sun. So it's really interesting, right, to see a partial eclipse, right. but you went to the total eclipse how was that? Absolutely. So the total eclipse, if you have the opportunity to see, is absolutely worth it. It is very stunning and sends chills down your spine. You will remember it your entire life. Hi, my name is Christian Greer, President and CEO of the Michigan Science Center here in Midtown Detroit. And August 17, 2017, I was in rural Missouri on the center line of a total solar eclipse. And I'm there with my family and I told them all about the eclipse. You know, it's gonna be this incredible thing and it's gonna be awesome. So my wife is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like you've been talking about this forever. We're finally here. So she goes up and we start watching the eclipse happen and all the things are happening us around us. And my wife is just like, oh, wow, wow. Oh my God, this is incredible. I'm like, I told you, I've been talking about this for five years. This is an incredible experience. <laughs> but sometimes it takes people the opportunity to actually go and see the eclipse. It's so cool to see. And it's something that I think is a lot of fun and something you won't forget. I was in a huge crowd. Some people were screaming in amazement. Other people were struck silent in awe, their mouths literally hanging open. I did both. The first time I saw an eclipse totality, I have to be honest with you, I cried. I had emotional moment of just the awe of what I was seeing, the darkness around me, the animals that were coming out. It was unbelievable. You're incredible. Unreal. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>